Good morning, LGN. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, friends, it is Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Don't forget, tomorrow's a half a day. Um, we have lots of things going on today. Tomorrow is the last day to bring your feathers in for our turkeys. And uh, I don't know if you were aware, but our, all of our turkeys got names. Uh, our first grade turkey is named Waddles. Love it. Our king kindergarten turkey is named Miss Feathers. Love it. Uh, second grade turkey is Butterball. Love it. And our third grade turkey is holding on to its name, Birdie McBirdface, which may be the, the best turkey name I've ever heard. <laughs> Birdie McBirdface. Uh, so Mrs. Young and Mrs. Clinton wanted me to remind you that tomorrow's the last day to bring in feathers. I've loved looking at those turkeys and looking at all the different designed feathers from all the books you're reading with your families. There's nothing better than reading a great book with a family member. So keep up the amazing work. Uh, and next week, in kind of celebration of Family Literacy Month, uh, we have our book fair. Scholastic Book Fair is is coming to visit us here at uh, at LGN. So on Monday and Thursday of next week, we'll have book fair. And I'm going to recommend a few books myself. Ms. Dermis gave me these really cool bookmarks. So if you see a recommended by Mr. Higgins, you know it's a book that Mr. Higgins loves. Bunch of those. Pretty cool. Uh, what else? Oh, get this. Mrs. Maloof's class was... Uh, nominated for a special Sparkly Heart Award by Mrs. Pontini. She said they were so respectful and helpful when I came to cover the class. Um, we had so much fun. So Mrs. Maloof's class, congratulations. I'll deliver that today. Nice job. And what else is going on? Oh, today I also have my second uh, news correspondent. My friend Gio in third grade is going to share a little bit about the Ukraine, where his family is from. So I'm excited to hear that from Gio. Before I turn it over to Gio, I do have a couple of jokes. These are good ones, too. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, why are frogs so happy? <laughs> they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> and how about this one? What do you get when you cross a centipede with a parrot? A walkie-talkie. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Sorry, Gio, before I hand it over to you. Um... This was given to me, I'm going to give it back, uh, by Edie in Mrs. Hanowitz's class. Edie made this origami Gigi. How cool is that? Look at it. She made that out of folded paper. Yeah, origami is the art of folded paper. And Mrs. Hanowitz found this really cool Gigi at a, um, an event she went to about ST Math, and Edie made that. It's like two pages of directions, too. Very impressive. Nice job. All right, with that, I'm going to turn it over to my friend Gio. Take it away, Gio. And don't forget, uh, in the meantime, Mr. Higgins loves you. Bye. Let me tell you about Ukraine. The capital of Ukraine is Kiev. 43 million people live there. Ukraine is in Eastern Europe. The blue in the flag means water and sky. The yellow means wheat. Fun fact. Ukraine built the world's biggest airplane. 